Hey guys, welcome to this week's um, Retro Video Games Pickups. I'm um, sorry I didn't do one last week. Um, I have been, I was struck down by the flu a second time. I'm just getting over it. So I thought, it's my day off, why not do a video? So yeah, let's get on with it. Cartridge based games only. First up, um, for the Master System, Zillion 2. This is basically a side scrolling shooter. <clears throat> you start off in like a, I don't know what to call it, like a robotic bike, I suppose. And you shoot things on the screen, and then <clears throat> once you complete one level, you get off the bike, and then you just, you know, with a pistol, you're just walking around shooting things. So, pretty decent platformer. Um, not the greatest game on the Must system, but I spent an hour on it the other day. It's, it's okay. So, yeah, that's it. Zillion 2, Tri Formation. Let's put that back there. Next up, we have um, for the Famicom, Mickey Mouse. Basically, this is a um, a platformer where you have Minnie as your sidekick. She follows you around everywhere, like she's your shadow. And um, yeah, but it's a decent little game. Mickey Mouse for the NES or Famicom. Um, next up is I bought this just for the one game. I bought these just for the one game because I already had the other two. Um, so yeah, I've got this in a package for $15 off eBay, which um, I'm a regular buyer off this Japanese seller. He actually sells some of his stuff quite cheap. Like, to buy these, the PAL version, you're looking at $30, maybe $40 each, $50 if they're boxed. So $5 each, I'm not complaining. The only problem is like, all the text is in Japanese, so you know, when you meet a new character in the game, it's all in Japanese, and I mean, it doesn't really bother me as long as I can still complete the levels and you know the platform stages. It's fine. So yeah, we have um, Super Donkey Kong or D Donkey Kong Country one, two, and three. Now, like I said, I only bought this for that because I actually have um, one and two already. So, if anyone wants to trade, like, it is the Japanese version, NTSA, NTSCJ version. So, you'll need a Super Famicom or uh, one of those converter cartridges, like, whatever they're called, I don't know, the Honeybee things. So, yeah. Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. Next up, we have... Dream Trigger 3D for the 3DS. Um, this cost me $10 from Big W. So, this is a hard, a very hard game. I played about 10 minutes and got really frustrated and had to pull it out of the 3DS. Um, it's, like I said, it's very similar to Res on the Dreamcast, but the way it's set up makes it really difficult. You basically look at two screens at once and yeah, it's so hard. I um, I have to play it again, but I got really frustrated with it. Like I lasted probably at the most two minutes, maybe three minutes into the game, and I just had to pull it out of the 3DS. It was getting too frustrating. So yeah, that's um, Dream Trigger 3D for the 3DS. Sorry about that guys, I've got all my stuff on the ground here and I've just got nowhere to put it because there's that much stuff here so I've got to bend down and pick all this stuff. Um, next we have 32-bit consoles. So I've gone from 8-bit to 16-bit to the 3DS and now we've got 32-bit consoles. First up we have Superbike 2000, incomplete, cost me $5. It's a basic motorbike game where you go racing around. It's okay, and I think it features um, real names because I played it for like um, half an hour the other day, and it looked like I don't know nothing about super bikes from the year 2000, but the names looked all legit. I think there was even an Aussie guy in there as well. So yeah, that's Superbike 2000. Next up, we have Street Skater, um, another five dollar pickup. 
from um, Lifeline. Yeah, I'm not as good as Tony Hawk, but um, decent game. I mean, I don't have the instructions. I'll have to look online because I don't know how to do any of the tricks. And there's no tutorial, so. And this is Jamie's, as you can see. <laughs> good old Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. Um, yeah, so that's Street Skater. Next up, we have another five-dollar pickup from the other day. Gauntlet Legends. It's the Finn Fox. Um, the Classics range. Um, I haven't played this. Um, I think Seeger of my house picked this up in his last pickup, so um, he had the fat version though. But yeah, this is the uh, Gauntlet Legends for the PlayStation. This was actually brought out on most consoles back in the day. And it's supposedly a very decent game. So yeah, that's that. <clears throat> Next up, I haven't seen this one around at all. Um, another five dollar pickup from Lifeline. Um, I haven't played it, so I'll do my best movie voice and read what's on the back. Star date five four one zero one point zero two. It's the twenty fourth century. Borg vessels are rapidly approaching near space. Romulans are suddenly attacking Federation vessels, and a respected Starfleet captain has turned renegade. Taking his ship with him as a hotshot pilot in the elite Red Squad Tactical Strike Force under the command of Lieutenant Commander Worf, you must uncover the plot behind this deadly pattern of events and fight back to save the universe from a doomsday scenario. Flying a prototype single seat combat fighter, codenamed Valkyrie, you and your squad members are in for the fight of your lives. Sounds like Top Gun, if you ask me. So yeah, by the sounds of it, it's a um, combat game. You can play a single player with squad support, go head-to-head -to -head with your friends, Holo Space Arenas. So yeah, that's um, Star Trek Invasion. If you're a Trekkie fan, I'm not. But yeah, that looks like fun, man. Another, this isn't PlayStation. We've got Sega Saturn, NTSCJ, <clears throat> Blackfire. Another combat game by the looks of it. This time a helicopter. Um, Apache or whatever. I haven't played this so... <clears throat> but yeah, the, I got this from the same eBay seller that I bought the um, Donkey Kong Country games off. <clears throat> and they bought this for 99 cents. Plus, I think, I think it was $6-$7 postage from Japan. So yeah, I mean... I don't think it's the best game in the world, I think that's why he sold it so cheap because he couldn't get rid of it. <clears throat> but um, yeah, Blackfire. Next up we will do Wii. First up, I do not know if this will fit the GameCube, I don't have a GameCube but I don't normally pick up cables. Um, but I've got the official Nintendo Wii component cable for... I don't know if you guys can see that. I can't put it too close to the camera because it's a high-end camera and unless you've got someone behind the camera auto-focusing, I mean manual focusing, it's going to go blurry. But yeah, so it's $10 there. Um, I don't know whether to take this out of the box or not. Reasons being is because if you look at boxed GameCube cables on eBay, they will go for over a hundred dollars easily. Um, I was going to buy one back in the day. Um, it was going to cost me fifty dollars from Nintendo. I never got around to it. And now you look at people trying to sell them on eBay. Easily eighty dollars. Eighty dollars at least for a GameCube component cable. So I'm an hour and about taking this out of the box. I mean, I can carefully cut around the big W sticker on here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a sticker that goes right around at the top and bottom. I started ripping it off, but it was ripping the box, so I didn't take it off. But yeah, that's the official Wii component cable. Um, next up, some more Wii stuff. We have... Red Steel 2. Um, I actually quite like this game. I got these in a pack of... 3 for 30, but I bought two Wii games and a 360 game, which I'm not going to include in here because it's not retro. Well, is the Wii really retro? Is it 
Would you consider Wii Retro? Um, yes, yeah, let's get on with it, guys. Red Steel 2. Brilliant game. Um, I actually like this game. I got into it quite a bit. Completed about, I think, seven or eight missions. Um, the controls can be a bit iffy sometimes. I heard the first one's even worse with the control system. Um, but yeah, this is decent. You go around, you know, slashing things, killing things, doing missions, um, shooting things. So it's a pretty decent game. Uh, it's sort of a sort of a ninja western game, like you know, cowboys and Indians type shit. So yeah. Now next up for Wii, we ha have The Grim Adventures of Mandy, Billy and Mandy, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I think this is supposed to be a Cartoon Network cartoon, I have not seen it. Um, I like the cuteness of the graphics and the cartoon design. It's Think Power Stone on the Dreamcast and that's basically what this game is. So, yeah, that's um, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. What's next, guys? Uh, Mega Drive. I haven't picked up for Mega Drive in a while. Um, the prices are getting crazy. They're getting up near Nintendo prices. Um, I don't, especially here in Australia, like, some people just overprice everything. I mean, some of these Mega Drive games you'll see for fifty dollars, and you like you can pick them up from the UK for like sometimes more than half the price. So I don't know where people get their prices from, but anyway, let's get to it. First up, two crew dudes, basically um, a Mega Drive fighting game, side scroller fighter, probably similar to. I don't even know what's similar to. I, I would say Final Fight, but it's not really that similar to Final Fight. Graphics, decent for a 16-bit machine. The fighting's a bit slow and cumbersome, but you do get used to it. So yeah, that's two crude dudes. Next up, a game I played a lot as a kid on the Mega Drive. Um, quite a game, Stone James Pond. It's your tip... It's, this is your typical sports game, but done in a lot different way. Um, quite entertaining, good with a few players if you've got like two or three people with you. Um, I did play this a lot back in the day. It's um, I really think they should bring games like this back to Xbox Live with um, you know online play and all that stuff because they are quite entertaining. Some of these old games. So yeah, that's the quarter games. Next up, we have NBA Jam. Boom shakalaka. Um, I do have this on the Mega CD, but I have to say, even though the Mega CD has updated rosters and new players and stuff like that, um, the Mega Drive version is the better version because the load times, well, there is no load times. Um, whereas the Mega CD version, between each quarter, you're probably waiting a good 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds sometimes. So yeah, that's NBA Jam. Finally on Mega Drive, we have Mickey Mania. Probably one of the best Mickey games on the system, um, besides Castle of Illusion and maybe Fantasia. Um, I still have to pick up a lot of the other Disney platformers like Aladdin, um, Lion King, um, Quackshot, another one for the Mega Drive. Because I mean, I played the shit out of Quackshot and finished it back in the day. I never finished this. This is quite hard to complete, as there's no save. Um, whereas I think Mick Quackshot had a had a password system or some type of save system from memory. I can't remember. But yeah, that's Mickey Mania. All right. Um, I think that's about it for this week, guys. Um, again, sorry I didn't do one last week. Battling this flu, I'd never thought I'd get the flu a second time. I, I'm a taxi driver and I deal with the public every, well not every day, but uh, most days. So anyone that comes to my taxi with the flu, I normally catch. I don't normally get the flu this bad. And the last two times I've been basically stuck in bed. 
I did go to work this week with the flu, and I shouldn't have, but you know, the things you do for money. So yeah guys, that's it this week. I won't be doing much editing in this video because my sinuses and looking at the computer is really hurting my eyes. So I'm just gonna edit a little bit and then um, just upload. And I'm, this time I'm not gonna upload in high def because man, that shit was taking ages. Like, it was taking a good probably four hour, five hours maybe. So yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching this week. Please subscribe or leave a message. I love contacting you guys to see what you guys have picked up. Um, yeah, so thanks guys. Have a great day. And I'll try and catch you next week. Bye.